Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm glad you're able to make it to part three. If you haven't yet, check out part one and two. Here we're going to be continuing from R all the way to the end of the alphabet. And when we're done with the alphabet, I'm going to jump into the spreadsheets that I've created that you'll see links in the description below about and how I went through each and every game and all my notes about it and how to get a hold of them uh, will be at the end of this video. I hope you like these series so far and enjoy. Uh, it works really well. Roasters is a bit laggy, but uh, playable green. Robotron is a green. Rocket Robot on Wheels is a green. Rugrats, well, there's two of them, and uh, one of them I think I added to the list that was not on this GitHub list. The uh, in Paris is re gets really laggy, so I'm giving it a yellow. That's this one where the scavenger hunt is a green, the one above it. Rush 2 uh, runs really well. Like it runs really good. Another good racing game. Scars, a little laggy, but it's playable. Rush runs really good. That's the regular one. The 2049, though, is too laggy to play. Not worth playing red. Scooby Doo, we got, uh, runs really well. Good game to play. Shadow Man, green. That's good. Shadow Gate, a little laggy, but playable. So, not perfect, but uh, playable. Uh, this one is barely playable. It's getting a yellow, but it's borderline yellow-green. Um, but again, it could get laggy. And the sequel, though, actually runs pretty good. The sequel here runs better than the first one, which is interesting because usually the first one runs better than the sequel on these, on these ROMs. South Park runs good. South Park Rally, really glitchy um, graphics. Uh, the Chef's thing, the Chef's Love Shack runs really well, but it's kind of a weird game. And then uh, Space Invaders, we got, did not load, so red on that one. Space Station Silicon Valley ran really well. Spider-Man Crashes, Star Fox, great game, runs well, green. Star Soldier, we got a red. Oh no, it runs good, so that's a green on Star Soldier, runs well. Star Wars Rogue Squadron uh, will not work. Does not load. Many people want it to work, but it doesn't. This one I was pleasantly surprised on, and it worked really well. So Shadow of the Empire, a green. Battle of Four Naboo does not load. Uh, Pod Racer does uh, load, though. Here, so Star Wars Episode One Racer. StarCraft 64 does not boot. Star Shots Space. Little slowdown, but playable. Stunt Racer 64 won't load black screen. Maybe if you wait a little longer, it might start loading, but it was at a, stuck at a black screen for a while. Super Bowling runs really well, green. Super Mario runs really well, green. Super Smash Brothers, they say the Yoshi level lags a little bit, definitely worth overclocking. Super Cross 2000, yellow, very laggy, so barely playable. Superman uh, runs really good, stupid game. Tarzan, uh, laggy, unplayable, red. Taz Express, runs horrible, red. Tetrisphere, green, but weird game, uh, but definitely plays if you want to run it. Tigger's Honey Hunt, green, runs really well. Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six, really laggy, red. Tom and Jerry, runs really good, green. Tony Hawk's, so, um, Tony Hawk 2, to me, plays the best out of all of them. Tony Hawk 1's a little laggy in the menus, but then plays okay. Tony Hawk 3, on the other hand, uh, freezes. So, 1 and 2. Top Gear, way laggy, unplayable, red. Um, Top Gear Overdrive, though, full speed with minor slowdown. You know, yeah, I'd say it's definitely playable. Top Gear Rally, uh, yellow. Minor graphics. Oh, and there's no sound whatsoever, so you cannot hear anything. And as you can hear in this game, it doesn't even play in the preview. Uh, number two, freezes in menus, unplayable. Red. Toy Story 2 runs really great, so good game to play. Runs great. Transformers, way laggy, unplayable. Red. Turbo Play, yellow, laggy, and audio shuttering, so yellow. Turox, all of them are really good. So all the Turox, playable, runs good. Uh, Twisted Edge Extreme, so this has no sound. The game runs great, but there's zero sound when you're in the game. The Rally Edition 99, yellow, very laggy. Vigilante, red for the regular one, 
major slowdowns in the yellow. The next one is yellow. It's got major graphic issues, so not really playable. Virtual Chess runs really great, so if you want to play chess on Ray's Image, here's your chance. Virtual Pool, some uh, weird like uh, like strobe light action going on there with the visuals, but but it's playable. But it's not. It's definitely not perfect. But it's still green. Now we get into the, some of these wrestling games. Uh, Red does not boot. Mayhem, way laggy, not worth playing. Nitro is a yellow, so it's the best out of the bunch, but not very good. Red, red, red. Not until you get to WWF does it get good. So if you want a wrestling game, play the WWFs. Uh, Attitude is green. Uh, Mercy, the cutscenes even run really well. So this one, not only the gameplay, but the cutscenes were, were, the videos were playing good. Warzone, you have some graphical, like when you pick a character, two characters show up, not just one. But once you're in the game, it plays fine. So again, a green, all these WWFs are green. 2000, a green, very playable. Now we get to the Country Club Golf. Uh, it's a little, it's very slow to get started, but once you're in the game, it's okay with some graphic issues, so it's a green. War Gods are way too laggy to play, so got a red. Wave Race is a yellow. If you overclock, you get to run a little bit better, but stock, it's, it's not a green. So here's the hockey game to play. This game plays really well, both these, uh, the 98 and the 99. So if you want a good hockey game, these both get greens. Wetrix is like Tetris with water. It's a really weird game, but uh, the sound's a little off and some glitchy, but it's a green, because if you want to play this game, you can still play it. Uh, Wheel of Fortune, green, a little slow at first, but it runs well. If you want like a cool shooter game, I recommend this one, the Covert Operations Win Back. It runs really well. Um, so this is a good game that doesn't have too much slowdown worth playing if you want kind of a shooter game. Wipeout 64 gets a green, runs really well. World Cup 99, this got a red, super laggy, unplayable. World Driver Champion would not boot, maybe try a different emulator, but red for now. Worms are again, solid green, running really good. Xena, uh, we got a green on this one. Good fighting game, if you wanna play a fighting game, this one does run well. And finally, and last, Yoshi's Story, got a solid green on this one. So there you have it. So there you have it, now that this list is done, we came out with 182 Nintendo 64 games that got a green rating. And there's probably some out there that uh, deserve a green that maybe I had missed, so it's probably even more than that. Um, so 182 out of 303 is not bad. A lot of people saying you should just throw out the whole collection and look at that. Over half do work and are playable on the Raspberry Pi 3. So here's the completed Excel spreadsheets that I'll post in the description below. Basically, I took the GitHub list and uh, I reordered the games in the order that are in attract mode. Like there's some games that are misordered on the attract mode. It's not that GitHub didn't do a good job, it's that the attract mode is configured in a way. But uh, if you have raised 128 gigabyte image, this should be somewhat in order for like 98% of the order. Um, of your track mode and uh so these this so this is edited from the original to match track mode this all stayed the same i did not touch any of the github stability what they thought was stable and unstable uh the status by github i did not change any of that i may have like accidentally typed something like here it looks like i typed an a whoops so maybe i got in there but other than that i didn't edit any of this stuff and then now here's my stuff here's where i went through each game and uh, if there's a blank spot, it means the game was not on the attract mode, raised 128 gigabyte image. Again, there's about 91 or so games that were not. Uh, but there's a couple games that are on raised image that aren't on this list. There's about two, one of them being like this Batman Beyond game. So here you can see my, my coding system, green being playable, yellow being not really playable, maybe if you overclock, red being unplayable. And uh, you can see all my my coding and what I had to say. Some games are a little laggy, some the, the graphics are off, some of the sounds off, and I put notes in here. And this is the comprehensive list, just like on GitHub, that uh, has 395 titles uh, on it. Now, I've also made a second worksheet here where I deleted all the games that were not on Ray's image. So this is just and I deleted all the yellows and the reds. So these are all the playable games. So working N64 games on Ray's 128 gigabyte image. So this is a great list if people just wanna see what games work and what games don't work, especially if they're debating whether to get this image or not, this will help you with that um, choice. And as you can see, I mean, uh, GitHub said some of these games were unstable 
and on and I'm saying they're totally playable. So you're gonna see that in the my list is up to date. I just did it on uh, 114 2017, and uh, you know there's 182 working titles because the first column is a uh, information. So that's a really good list. So if you're interested, there's a description below a link that'll take you into these lists. I hope you like this video. It did take us a lot of time to do. So if you can donate to this channel, you can like, you can subscribe, you can use some of those uh, Amazon affiliate links that don't cost you anything else, but you know, gives me a little cutback and helps support this channel. Any one of those things, if you can do that, we would really appreciate it. Uh, I hope again, hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you guys next time.